awesome, get up and go to it. Ho, oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Now, if you saw Tuesday's video, I said that I'm probably gonna be working on the Harley, and well, today is Thursday, and I'm gonna be working on the Harley. Now, now I was planning on riding it at the end of the day, but uh, it's looking a little cloudy, and it rained like hell last night, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to rain again. So, I don't think I'm gonna be riding it today, but I am gonna figure out why my air ride is leaking. So, I right, guys sit back, relax, de-stress from the day, and enjoy the video. Here we go. Anybody down for a little cold start? I know I am. Oh, I know I can't start it. That's because I don't have the key with me. Key's inside, so if you don't get a cold start right now, you get a cold start later. And uh, if you see these on my feet, don't worry about it, just mind your business. No, I'm just kidding. These are, uh, these are Birkenstocks, actually. They're supposedly, they're supposedly really good for your feet, and my feet are kind of buggered from the military, so, uh, bought some of these Birkenstocks. They're supposedly really, really, really good for, like, the bottom of your feet, your soles, flatten your feet out, arthritis, stuff like that. So, hopefully they work. So I'm gonna wear these and break them in, so, uh, don't judge for my, uh, Jesus sandals, okay? Okay. So, right here, I got me some glass cleaner. Pretty much all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the little areas that I think about and see if I can find an air leak. I don't, I don't hear air escaping from anywhere, but if you sit here and watch, it steadily goes down. We're not, it goes down very slow, but I don't hear any air leaking, so I don't know where to start at. I don't... I lied. I do hear air. Can y'all hear this? I know it's not in focus, but... It's coming from somewhere in here. I can hear it. I don't know if y'all guys can hear it. Now I just gotta figure out where it's coming from. Oh, there she is. You see that? Look at there. Oh yeah, I found the culprit of why my air ride's leaking. Well, uh, I don't know if it got the last part, but I literally found the leak, and as soon as I did, my battery died. The leak is right here. You can actually still see it kind of bubbling. I'll spray some more on there. Oh, look at that. Looks like it's just coming from the bottom. Maybe it just needs to be tightened up a little bit. So, that's what we're gonna do. And see if, uh, see if that fixes everything. All right, that is, uh, I don't know. Kind of like an eight, maybe? We'll try it. We'll try an eight, fellas, ladies. Is that a 10? Maybe it is a 10. Ooh, might be a 10. Show enough. Oh, look at that. Look how loose she was. That looks much better. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that one up, too. All right, let's see if we have any more leaks now. I know I'm super, super zoomed in right now, but uh, that took maybe five minutes, and I have no idea what to do for the rest of this video because uh, I can't ride it because it's literally about to rain. 
Well, I mean, I guess I could go ride it. So, uh, the air ride is fixed. It literally just came loose, I guess. So I just tightened everything back up. She is back where she belongs. Dump it on her butt. But, uh, I guess we're going to, uh, take old girl for a spin. Excuse me. Stop recording, please. I, see, I literally pushed the record button and it's still recording for some reason after I told it to stop recording. It might be time for a new camera, ladies and gentlemen. Stop recording. Please stop recording. Stop recording. I, can you, can you see and hear me pushing? Stop recording. Okay, well I guess it's, the camera's just doing whatever it wants to do now. It's, it's recording for no reason, so uh. Yeah, it's still recording. Like I don't, please stop recording. You've been recording for five minutes now. Well, went ahead inside, changed clothes, found me that screw, talked to dad, he said he put it in the box for some reason, but now the screw can go in and we can go ride. We should be good to go. I'm going to uh, go ahead and give y'all a cold start, that way you guys can enjoy that. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. The goggles are going on. Welcome to the GoPro footage. We are about to go for the very first ride on camera of the bike. Now, I did ride this bike a couple days ago with Dad. We kind of rode around town for a little bit, just goofing off, getting used to the bike. And today, we're going to go for the very first official ride. Got the key in my pocket. Everything is good. Let's go for a ride before... Well, looks like it's kind of clearing up. I already got the air ride pumped up to the way I like it. Alrighty. Let's get this party started. Now, as you can tell, I am rocking my uh, dirt bike helmet, and that is mainly because I didn't feel like running the microphone to my, to my motorcycle helmet, so that's the reason y'all are on the dirt bike helmet today. I guess we'll go right. See what right has to offer us. Now, I don't know how the audio is going to be with the mic and this helmet and the GoPro and stuff like that because it's pretty windy without a windshield, obviously, but hopefully, hopefully it'll be all right for y'all not too windy y'all guys can still hear what I'm saying I'm not even yelling I'm literally just talking in a normal voice so hopefully hopefully y'all can hear me hopefully my seats down and tightened hopefully the bags are on good it's quite windy out here damn it feels good ah oh, man once you start going this breeze feels amazing I have, uh, when me and dad went and rode the other day, I actually scraped the bottom of the bags because I was leaning so low. Cause you know, I'm a professional motorcycle rider. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, 
I definitely have respect for this bike, definitely have respect for the road, absolutely. The moment you lose respect for a motorcycle or you lose respect on the road is the minute something happens. And Lord knows I do not need anything to happen. Show any of the street signs. Oh, she sounds good. go to it we me and dad think since it has a different air cleaner on it this bike has a stage one and dad says it he rode this bike with mom on the back of it and he's thinking that this bike is faster than his street glide because usually when he's on the highway he's in sixth gear and he just he has to downshift to get it to go on his street glide but this one he said he kind of just he kind of just rolled onto it and the old girl wanted to eat. So, old girl wants to eat, that is for sure. And she sounds good, especially on them downshifts. Woo! Listen to that. Got me my old maid Jake brake on my Harley, baby. Beautiful day outside, absolutely. Just look at the clouds. If y'all ever, uh, ever watched that movie, Don't Look Up, with Leonardo DiCaprio in it, I think that's who, yeah, Leon, yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio, I think so, yeah, that sounds about right. If y'all haven't watched that movie, and you're like, kinda sorta into conspiracy theories, I'm very big into conspiracy theories, I believe, well, I'm not gonna say I believe, but I think a lot about a lot of different things, and I think different than most people if that makes any sense at all i'm not going to say that i'm a conspiracy theorist but i am going to say that i believe in certain things that other people don't believe in so if you're ever feeling small in this world go outside and look up i was going to end off the video but kind of decided that this feels really good don't really want to stop riding so I'm just going to keep on cruising and keep on talking. But anyways, yeah, back to conspiracy theories. Honestly, I could go into some deep, deep shit that probably not a lot of y'all want to hear or learn about. But, but, man, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening in this so-called world that uh, not very many people know about. So, don't be a sheeple, people. Make your own conclusions about life. Make your own conclusions about this world. What it really is. Is it flat? <laughs> is it round? Are we technically underwater? Is the sky changing? Are we going to a 5D? Oh, see, I could go on for days and days and days, people. Day. I could go on for days on this stuff. Because, I don't know, it's just... You look up in the sky at night, right? And you see all these stars, and you're like, damn, there ain't no way that we're actually the only ones out here. There's physically absolutely no way that we're the only planet in the entire universe that has life. There's absolutely no way. There's no way in the world that some of us were the fastest swimmers, if you understand what I'm saying, and are doing what we're doing in life. Like rap artists, <laughs> like Elon. Oh man, I would love to start a second channel on nothing but conspiracy theories, but I don't even know if I would, I don't even know if it would get the traction that I wanted it to, so. Right now, we're just gonna stick to the old Garrett Porter channel riding Harleys. I'm in second gear right now. Actually, we'll do third. Third at 40, I'm just gonna roll on to it kinda slow, ready? quarter throttle third gear no reason I would never ever ever buy a super bike or a sport bike I mean I would actually love to have like a Jigster 600 I just ate a bug to my face actually uh 
I wouldn't mind having like a Jixxer 600 or a 750 or a CBR. Not a chance in hell would I get a 1000. Y'all guys that ride thousands and Hayabusa's and H2's and shit like that, more power to you. Y'all can have it. I have no reason to go that fast on two wheels, especially bobbing and weaving between cars and stuff the way y'all do over there in like Cali. Nah, y'all can have that. My cojones ain't that big to be doing all that. Huh, what an eventful day. Fix the air ride. I'm not straight riding on my bump stops right now, dude. Back before I fixed it, I was literally riding home on it when me and dad were riding. And every little, like that bump right there, every little bump, I was bouncing on the bump stops. So I probably had about that much of travel. And I was just bouncing up and down on it. Oh my God, it was the roughest ride of my life. I thought some dirt bikes rode rough that I used to have back in the day. Heck no, Bobby. This one, <laughs> this is the absolute hardest riding bike if it ain't got air. But obviously, because it ain't got air in it, it's gonna ride rough. Feels good, she handles good. I just need a little bit taller apes. I think these are mini 12s, is what dad told me. Pretty sure these are mini 12 apes. So I mean, my arms are, my arms are almost, almost straight out in front of me. But I feel like if they were, they were up here a little bit, that'd probably be a little better. That wouldn't be so bad. Maybe, maybe some 14s or some 16s. Maybe riding about up here instead of down here, and up here. That wouldn't be so bad, I don't think. Maybe some 16s. Yeah, I like it. 14s, 16s. Hey, Cal, how you doing? You're laying down. That means the rain coming. Love that. Getting a little windy. It is starting to cool off a little bit, so. This is probably gonna be the last lap around my little area. Probably take it to the house. Go ahead and edit this video, post it for y'all. That way y'all guys can enjoy it. Man, the only reason that I post videos is one, because I genuinely enjoy doing it. And two, I genuinely enjoy reading the comments of man, where some of y'all had a rough day at work or a rough day of life. I mean, hell, everybody has a rough day of life. Everybody. If you say you don't have a rough day in life sometimes, you're absolutely lying so the main reason that I make YouTube videos is for y'all guys to come home sit down grab a joint grab a beer grab a coke grab a water whatever you do to de-stress from life hey there's that abandoned house that Braden went to I actually uh side quest I actually used to valet cars right there way back in the day right after high school all of that used to be trees as you can see now there's absolutely nothing there it's absolutely crazy. I did that five years ago. Now they're gonna turn it into a big ass neighborhood. The country ain't turning into the country no more, ladies and gentlemen. It's quite bullshit if you ask me. Excuse my language, but it is. But anyways, like I was saying, grab whatever you gotta grab to relax. Sit down, listen to me talk a whole bunch of nonsense. and enjoy the video. Oh, neutral bump. Love that. Look at the sky. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. If y'all guys don't appreciate clouds, y'all should really start. Especially the blue sky. Wow incredible hope you guys had an eventful day hope work wasn't too shitty nobody likes working absolutely i believe that wholeheartedly leave it down in the comments if you're old enough to have a job what kind of job do you have and do you enjoy it i know a lot of people enjoy their jobs i definitely enjoy my job i didn't enjoy my previous jobs but i enjoy this job this job i can benefit other people i can make other people laugh i can make other people smile I can get them to detox from their day. Absolutely incredible job to have if you're asking me. I'm also a people pleaser, so I enjoy pleasing other people before I please myself. Kind of a bad trait to have in some scenarios, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't trade who I am to be anybody else. I love this country. I love the free land. I love being free. All these people in America that say, I hate America. Y'all have never been to a different country, so you don't really know how good you have it. See me, I've been to three different countries. I've seen some stuff. 
America is absolutely the best country to live in. And if you disagree with my statement, kick rocks and get the hell out. Because we don't need that kind of negativity. Nothing better than apple pie, baseball, sunny summer days, and Harleys, baby. My helmet is about to fly off my damn head right now. Because the wind keeps snagging it. I got to keep my head down. Hopefully here I still have a good angle. Hope you guys can still hear me. It's getting pretty windy. Cruising at 60. My feet are up. Got the breeze going to my armpits. I didn't even put deodorant on this morning. Incredible day. Beautiful day to ride. That lady was wearing a mask inside her car with the windows down. How much sense does that make? Zero. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Kind of weird, kind of short, maybe. I don't really know. First ride on the Harley. She did absolutely incredible. We got the air ride fixed. I'm not bouncing my butt off the ground, it feels like. She's riding good. If you are not already subscribed, make sure to do so because we are so close to 140,000 subscribers. But, like I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it down in the comments. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back each time. I know I've been gone for like damn near three weeks, but the videos are coming back Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. I promise I'm going to make myself do it. Whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, it's happening. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, I will be posting YouTube videos because I want to start taking this thing serious. I want to do better in my life. Simply the fact that I need to get off my ass and start doing more things in my life. Buddy, you better stop. You ain't even going to stop. Thank you. Chewie! That was a that was a good ride. Sitting on the ground, baby. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, like I was saying on the GoPro, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it down in the comments. If you want to see more Harley videos, leave a like. If you want to see me and dad ride together, slap a GoPro on him and him and me talk back and forth, leave a like also. But until then, if you're not yet already subscribed, make sure to do so because more videos are coming every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Peace. I love you. We'll see you on the next one. It's harder than two rats fucking in a wool sock on a tin roof in a hot summer day in Texas. Jesus. Hot balls out here. I ain't even got no sunglasses on. I'm dripping from head to toe. I ain't even got underwear on. I'm literally just wearing basketball shorts and jeans. Horrible idea. Shit, I've been recording this whole time.